Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring you Nichols Worth and today from Christian Art Gifts we have the KJV Study Bible. Now this is actually the Reformation Heritage Study Bible kind of rebranded through CAG and we're going to take a look at it because this thing is loaded with features. The first thing is the cover. The cover alone has more features than you would ever think in the cover of a Bible. It has like this cross pattern stitch work. It kind of has like a three piece cover plus some with these little corners here and all the stitch work looks really good. And check out that spine, beautiful work. I love that they left these blind but yet stamped that. It's kind of interesting, it matches kind of the hardware on it. Of course you can see this is a zipper and check it out, they accented the stitching. I really like that, all the accent work on all this stitching just to kind of make that burgundy just kind of pop into that black and really work together, it's kind of slick. Even like the little zipper, check it out, they have a little cross there. So now let me show you some features about this cover. So once you unzip it, you think, oh no, this is going to scratch my gilding. Oh no, it's not because they built in this little flap and that little flap protects your gilding because it softens that so when you zip this up because normally what happens you zip this up and you hit it that other side of that clasp is going to hit your gilding and it's going to mess it up but there's no risk of that because boom this is here and it brings that protection and then there's another problem that bible covers often cause and that is a difficulty in laying flat and you see how this one's kind of struggling to lay flat but check it out they address this with this little button thing here you take this you flip it down and you pull it this way and kaboom, flat as a pancake. That is pretty slick. So now let's get into some features of this Bible that are really nice. Again, this is the Reformation Heritage Study Bible. So you are going to have that reformed theology all in the commentaries and all in its notes and articles. So just know that, but it's an art versions so check it out all these different beautiful art pages check out the present i don't normally show off the presentation pages but these are just too beautiful not to show off check it out so we have first of all the one that you would sign presented to yourself you have holy matrimony you have your family record i mean this is beautiful even the table of contents i mean look at all the ornate gold accenting it's really beautifully done this is sharp and then it has your welcome to the reformation heritage study bible kind of shows you how to use it it's different features reading the bible experientially and not just reading it dryly the king james it's tradition text and translation so it's kind of telling you how it was translated the traditions that it kept really nice little article to start it all off and then occasionally you're going to see these throughout the bible where it has a verse really beautifully accented just really making this a work of art more than just a Bible. Again, there's another one where it shows you Genesis 131, the introduction to the Pentateuch, introduction to the book of Genesis, and then you get into the Bible itself. And the Bible is a double column layout. This is a 9.8 font. The verses are accented in gold. And then whenever you have a new paragraph starting in this verse by verse format, you get a pill crow to let you know this is a new paragraph. You have all your notes. And again, these are going to be conservative, theologically, and reformed. So that's something important to know. God's creation and glory. There is so much to this. It's impossible to show you all the details in five minutes. It is line match. It seems to have decent paper. I'm going to say this paper is probably in the low 30 GSMs, that's just a guess, but I mean, when you look, the ghosting is very minimal in this. It is tabbed, and then it has red tabs for the New Testament to let you know once you've gotten into the New Testament, and it is not a red letter text, which is a nice bonus to so many. So now let's get into the New Testament because again, I can't, I just can't begin to show you all the features of this thing. It's just absolutely loaded. Just to show you proof, again, another one of those beautiful verse art things. This is 100% a black letter text. So the words of Christ are in black, so you don't have to deal with that inconsistencies in the red. Now let's get to the end because, again, I told you this thing was loaded and I was not kidding. It has so much meat to it. So once you get past the book of Revelation, you have your study helps. And Beatitudes, how to live as a Christian. So it's kind of a discipleship packet, coming to Christ, Adoption. Now again, this is going to have a reformed theological mindset, so keep that in mind. Sanctification, persevering, scriptures, we pray, grace, believers. This is kind of set up kind of like a systematic theology. And then, once you get past all the theological stuff, you have the churches through the centuries. So it takes you from the first century, the second century, third century, 
all the way into the creeds. Yes, this has a list of the creeds, starting with the Apostles' Creed, Nicene Creed, Athanasian Creed, Belgic Creed, Heidelberg Creed, Canons of Dort, Westminster, shorter and longer Westminster Catechisms. This thing is crazy loaded. And then, once you get past all the creeds and confessions, you have a read through the Bible plan to show you how to read through the Bible in a year, and a concordance of the Holy Scriptures. Here's your tables of weight and measures. What does this thing not have? Would be the real question. What does it not have? It even has maps. It is a sound binding, good construction, came with a little bookmark. Now it does have a paper liner. I would like to have seen them put a vinyl liner in that, but you can see the inside is kind of a, like a vinyl-y, felty kind of thing. I don't know really what to call that, kind of a polyester. It also has two decent ribbons. This thing's popping. It has everything, all the bells and whistles, and it's actually not that expensive. It's well under a hundred bucks. So I want you to check it out and see if this is something that you can use for yourself. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholas Ward.